Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a little bit of help with your PowerPoint presentations. PowerPoint is something that we've asked students to do in the past and I think you're all very good at it. So I only wanted to take a few minutes to share some tips and thoughts with you. For those of you that have Microsoft PowerPoint, go ahead and open it up to a new document and it should look something like this. I've gone ahead and filled in a title. As a title, you want to have all of the words capitalized and my name on the first slide. As you can see, when you start a new presentation, all the slides are white. That is not very interesting to look at. So the first thing we want to do is go up here at the top and click on Design. There are lots of ready-made options here, and with the click of a button, your PowerPoint will already start to look pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with this one because it shows up really well on your screens when you look. Okay, so we want to have a title that fits the assignment and our name. So that even if the teacher is grading at super speeds, you'll be able to tell that this excellent work is yours. If we click on our first slide, it says choose a nice design, and we can see that we've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and right click and say delete slide and it's gone. Next it says add some pictures. There are a couple of ways that we can do that. We can either add a picture that we have, which is this. Click on it and we can maybe see ooh, pretty flowers. Click and it's inserted. Okay, if we don't want to do that if we want to go ahead and delete, we can also insert clip art. And over here we can search for whatever we like. I'm going to go ahead and say school because this is a school assignment. How about a nice school bus? Okay, so these are our two options. We have clip art and we also have a photograph from a file. If you've deleted the text box and you don't see that any longer, you can always come up to the top of the PowerPoint screen and click Insert and choose either Picture or Clip Art. If I want to bring my pretty flowers back, whoa, it's so big, I'm going to click on the corner and resize it. Another thing that makes PowerPoint presentations and pictures especially look really polished is to click on the picture and open the Picture Tools ribbon. It shows you all kinds of options for frames for your pictures and also special effects. These simple little details can make a PowerPoint presentation look very put together and you can feel confident when you're talking in class. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on from pictures, the next thing is add a graph or a chart. Some of your teachers might ask you for one of these depending on what kind of presentation and once again, you can find it in two places. It's in the Insert menu. You can say Chart, or Smart Art will sometimes have options for graphs. And if you come down to the text box, it's actually also here, Insert Chart. You can choose what kind of chart you want, such as a pie chart or a bar chart, and say OK. And when it opens, it will open in an Excel file which you can then type in the relevant numbers in this area. The changes that you make here are what you're going to be able to see here when you're finished. And that's how you add a chart. The next option is Smart Art, and I'd like to show you that by adding a new slide. Anytime you want to add a new slide, you click on the slide before it, right click and say New Slide, and a new slide will appear. I'm going to go ahead and name the slide Smart Art. And I'm going to come down and click on the Smart Art graphic icon. There are all kinds of things that are available in Smart Art that can make things look pretty snappy if you're designing something. For example, if you want to show the relationship between something and something else, you can click on one of these and choose one of these. Ha ha! I hope most of you recognize this. This is a Venn diagram, for example. And it's just one of the options that we have. OK. 
Okay, so you can always explore those options in the design menu. If you have a graph or a chart that you finished, you want to make sure it looks really nice. You can come up here to design and choose from any of these colors or variations in the options menu. And it's just a quick way to make everything come together and look very nice without having to do a lot of editing by yourself. Moving on, adding video or sound. This can sometimes be tricky. In my classes for my students, I usually say it's okay to add video or sound by simply copying and pasting the URL. For example, what you can do is you can come and get the URL at the top of the bar for any YouTube video that you like and you can insert it by copying and pasting. Okay, When you do that, the link will become live and it's clickable. If you'd like to try it a different way, you can also try to embed the video. The film reel here says insert media clip and that's what we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. But it's asking for a clip that's on your own computer. If you want to embed a YouTube video, you can say insert. And go down to video and video from website. And it says here to insert a link to a video you've uploaded to a website, copy the embed code from that website and paste it into the text box below. The embed code is something that you can find very easily on YouTube. So I'm going to show you. This is one of the videos that I've uploaded. And in order to uh, get the embed code, you click on share. And there's an option here that says embed. This is HTML code that corresponds to this video, so we're going to copy paste by saying control C to copy. We return to our PowerPoint and we press control and V to paste. And then we click insert. Whoops, looks like there's a problem. We say OK. And then we can go ahead and say check out this video and include the link as I was saying before. It's much easier and pain free to include the URL than to worry about trying to embed when you run into a problem like we just did. Okay. The next and last thing is to add transitions or animations to your slides. An easy way to add transitions is to go to the transitions ribbon at the top and choose one that you like. When you click on them, it'll give you an example of what it looks like. Okay. I think I might like that one. Or how about this one? Conveyor. There's lots of things to choose from. I think maybe if we use this slide we can see it a little bit better. You can choose any that you like and it's just a nice way to move from one slide to the next. Animations are things that you can attach to specific pieces for example, if I want to make the school bus do something special, as we see the slide for the first time, you can click on the school bus and then click on animations and say what you like. Fly in, float in, grow and turn, whatever you like. It's important to be subtle and to not use too many animations and transitions when you're building your nice PowerPoint. If you add too many animations and transitions, your PowerPoint will be very busy and it will sometimes hurt people's eyes because there's so much going on on the screen. So if you're going to add transitions and animations, less is more. 
I think that's the basics of adding in things on a PowerPoint to make it look really nice. The main thing is to don't forget to add some color and some pictures to make it very interesting to look at while we also listen to the person who's doing the presentation. And if you have problems adding a video, such as this one from YouTube, you can always include the link. PowerPoints are multimedia, which means we can always stop the presentation and click on the link to load the website. That's okay. So if you can't get the video to load specifically, don't, don't worry too much. Other than that, make sure things look good, make sure you have all the things included that your teacher asks for, and have fun. Your PowerPoint is supposed to be a reflection of your work and your personality, so don't take things too seriously. And remember, if you have questions, ask your teacher first. We love to help you, and we want to see you succeed just as much as you do. Thanks, guys. That's about it for now.